Hi guys, welcome back to the storage centre. We're up here today to fix a problem on the caravan. Today we're going to be focusing on a problem we have with the motor mover. A couple of weeks ago we tried to move the caravan and we noticed that only one side was working and this side here was not working. I managed to get it to uh, fire into life just by playing around with the terminals and found out that it's down to corrosion on the electrical uh, spade terminals on the motor. Um, now, our motor mover is a power touch mover. Uh, the specific model, I can't begin to explain which one it is. I know it's quite old. Um, and what we have on our motor mover is we have these rubber rings here. I think you can see that there. And on this side, it had completely failed. And in fact, it fell off parts in my hands when I was looking at it. Um, and this has allowed road dirt, mud, muck, water to get in and affect the electrical connections on the motor mover. So today we're replacing the rubber rings. Um, we're going to clean up the electrical contacts and uh, we're just going to make sure that the whole motor mover itself uh, works perfectly fine. So um, stay with us. You and me, we're getting under the van and getting dirty. Right, guys. So before we get underneath the caravan and start getting dirty, let's go through some of the things that we're going to need to make this work. Um, we're going to use some brake disc cleaner to clean up the terminals. We've obviously got our replacement ring here, which we're going to install. Uh, and I'll go into greater detail of this in a moment. We've got some P600 wet and dry, which we're going to use just to clean up the terminals even more. And we're using a voltmeter just to ensure that A, that there's no power to start with, and B, to make sure that we've got good uh, electrical connection afterwards as well. And that's it. So here are the rubber rings, guys. You'll notice that uh, they've got a cutout on one side, which means this is where the electrical cable is going to pop through. Uh, the other side doesn't have it, so they can only go on one way round. Okay, so this is the motor mover, and as you can see here, the existing rubber ring has completely disintegrated. And uh, what we're gonna need to do is replace this, and you can see it's completely fallen apart, and this is what's allowed the filth to get through. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the terminals, which I think you can see there. And there's one on the other side as well. Disconnect the terminals. We're going to clean the terminals up using the uh, brake cleaner and the wet and dry. And then put it all back on again. So there you go. That's the terminal off. Um, now I'm trying to get in as close as I can so you can actually see what's going on here. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but we are going to clean it up anyway. This is the easier of the two terminals to get. The other one is completely hidden uh, from view at the moment. Um, and it's the other side of the actual mover itself. So Tom's got to get underneath and uh, run the back there to uh, get in and take it off. And that's the one that's going to be filthy because that's where the cover actually failed. There you go. You can see now how much brighter that is looking. Um, so Tom, if you just want to go and just carry on, just clean that up a little bit more. Don't be afraid to go at the back of that spade connector as well. So there's bits you can't see, which is where the terminal actually makes its, uh, its good connection. So I've just shown you um, Tom cleaning up the terminal which is closest to us. Now that's not the problem terminal for us. The actual one is, which was is really corroded and quite bad is the one which I can't actually get the camera in to show you. Um, so Tom at the moment is just underneath uh, just uh, cleaning that one up, uh, making that one all bright and shiny in exactly the same way as the one that we've just shown you. Alright? Mm. What's the matter? Nothing. Good. So once they're all bright and uh, clean, what we're going to do is we're going to put the new uh, cover on the uh, motor mover itself, but we're just going to give the motor a bit of a wipe around to make sure it's nice and clean so that when we put the, the new rubber on, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, trap a load of muck in there as well. So what Tom's doing at the moment is just applying a little bit of washing up liquid to the rubber ring uh, to act as a lubricant to get it over the mover. Um, we've just had a go at trying to get it on and it is very, very tight. So just a little bit, you don't need a lot, just to help it and aid it go over. And we'll see how we get on with that now. Snug, isn't it? Yeah.
great. Well, there we go then, guys. So um, Tom's just uh, done the other side as well now, and uh, we hope that's been useful for you. This was the remains of the uh, the other one there, and I think you can see how bad it is. So what we've got here is, you can see it's pretty gnarly, um, and Thomas managed to just pull it apart and it's, uh, it's let a lot of water in, it's let a lot of grease in, lots of uh, horrible things in there. So um, we hope that's been of use to you. The product itself is the PowerTouch uh, motor mover. The link to this replacement uh, is in the description below. Um, any questions, any comments or anything that you want to uh, uh, add, obviously just feel free to, to point them out to us below. That's it, right? All done. All done. You're fairly happy with that? Yeah, I'm all happy with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously we tested the motor mover to make sure it was working. In the end, we didn't need to use the voltmeter because, well, it's just very simple. Just unplug it, replace the rubbers and plug it back in again. Hmm. And uh, all good. All good. All we good. are filthy though. Yeah. And I didn't do anything. No, no. <laughs> all right? Yeah. Excellent. Until the next one then, guys, we'll speak to you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.